Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum. I'm a urologist practicing in New Orleans, Louisiana. And in this video, I would like to speak with you about the use of daily Cialis for the treatment of benign enlargement of the prostate gland. The prostate gland is a walnut-sized organ located at the base of the bladder that provides the nutrient fluid to the sperm to make it possible to fertilize an egg. As men get older, for reasons not entirely known, the prostate gland enlarges and it compresses the tube, the urethra, that goes from the bladder through the penis to the outside of the body, causing symptoms of decrease in the force and caliber of the urinary stream, dribbling after urination, straining to urinate, frequency of urination, and getting up at night multiple times in order to empty the bladder. The diagnosis of enlarged prostate gland is made very simply by the history and then a physical exam including a digital rectal examination and then a blood test called a PSA blood test and oftentimes you will be asked to urinate over a machine or funnel to measure the flow rate and then a bladder ultrasound to see if you are adequately emptying the bladder. The treatment for the enlarged prostate gland First line treatment is medication. There are also minimally invasive procedures using microwaves and uh, lasers, and there are also surgical procedures for the treatment of the enlarged prostate gland. So how does Cialis work if given on a daily low-dose basis, as Cialis is a drug that is used to treat erectile dysfunction or impotence. We're not exactly sure how Cialis works, but we believe that it relaxes the muscle cells in the prostate gland, thus decreasing the compression on the urethra, allowing urination to take place. Cialis is taken one tablet a day, five milligram tablet a day, and it is usually successful in most patients in a few weeks or a month after initiating treatment. The side effects of Cialis are back pain, occasional muscle aches, facial flushing, nasal congestion, and rarely can it cause an erection to last longer than four hours requiring a trip to the emergency room. Rarely, Cialis can cause visual or hearing problems. The contraindications to using Cialis are absolutely contraindicated in men who are using nitroglycerin for heart disease. It is also relatively contraindicated for men who are using alpha blockers or if they are using alpha blockers, they should take the alpha blocker at a different time of day than they take the Cialis. If Cialis doesn't work, there are other treatment options, such as other medications that can be used. There are minimally invasive treatments. And finally, there are surgical procedures. In summary, benign enlargement of the prostate gland is a common condition affecting millions of American men. Help is available. And one of the treatment options is daily low-dose Cialis. I know you may have some additional questions regarding the use of Cialis for treating the benign enlargement of the prostate gland, and if you will open the door, I will return to the room shortly to answer any additional questions that you may have. Thank you.